This is problem number 11 from the August 2015 Algebra Regents exam. Uh, we've got four different um, representations of uh, some data. We've got a table of values, a graph, um, some ordered pairs, and an equation. And what we need to do is find out which one of them rep represent functions. And the definition of a function, or the important thing about a function, is that each um, input which is usually our, you know, our x value, has um, only one unique output. So for example, something that would not be a function is if you had the number, if you inputted the number 1, and it was possible that there are two different um, outputs that could come from it, like 2 and 3, then that would not be a function. So taking a look at the first set of uh, this table of values we have here, um, we can see that this input of 2 gives 6, and this other input of 2 gives a different output, negative 6. And so that's the reason why this is not a function. Uh, graphically, it's quite quick to find out if something's a function or not by using the vertical line test, and that's when you draw a vertical line straight up and down, and if it intersects the graph twice, or at least more than once, and it's not a function. And that's because for this one output input of x, there's two different outputs. So that one doesn't work either. Looking at the set of ordered pairs here, um, looking at our inputs, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So clearly there's no repeated inputs that give a different output, so that one's good. And then finally, We've got y equals 2x plus 1. That, of course, when a graph would be a linear um, relationship forming just a straight line, a straight diagonal line. And so if we did thought of the vertical line test there, it would always, uh, each vertical line would only intersect that graph once, which is a good thing. So um, option number 2 is their correct answer. That's all for this video. Thanks for visiting JD's Regents Preparation.